Hey guys, MD Prepper here, talking about low cost, first time ownership, handguns and low cost prepping options for handguns. We gotta start with the high points. High points are the most underrated handguns on the face of the earth. Um, much maligned, a lot of bad press out there about them, but anyone who says something bad about them has probably never fired one or didn't know what in the heck they were doing. Great gun. I bought this maybe three years ago, maybe three and a half years ago, just kind of on a whim, just going, well, I hear they're cheap, but they are cheap. They're inexpensive. Let me get one. Let me try it out. This is not a cheap gun. This is an inexpensive gun. Not cheap. Well made. Lifetime warranty on it, which is tremendous. Very affordable. And let me go ahead and say I would easily trust this with my life in an instant. If this is what I had and the only weapon I had, yeah, this will get the job done. This is fine. Do I have other guns I like better? Oh yeah, a lot of them. Do I ever carry this? No, because I've got lighter weight, thinner things that are better for concealed carry. Would I carry this? Oh yeah, if this is all I had, especially for the money. Unbelievable. Brand new, these things are gonna run you about $100, give or take, for the nine millimeter version here. I'll talk about the variances in a minute. Uh, get them a little more expensive, 130 or so, if you don't look around. I've seen them in the distant past for 80 bucks or so, give or take. Great gun. Years ago, before I ever thought about picking up a high point, I saw a mound of these used, literally a, a pile, like eight of them, at a gun show for 50 bucks a piece. You know, you pick which one you wanted. They were beat up, they were abused, they've been carried a lot. I wish I'd bought every one of them. I didn't buy one, I just passed right by them and said, who want one of those? Well, I was an idiot. I could have had eight firearms for, what is that, 400 bucks? <laughs> tough to beat. And if there was any problems with any of them, it has a lifetime warranty. I could have shipped those bad boys back to High Point. They'd have fixed them up, possibly refinished them for me, sent them back with an extra mag just for my trouble. Wish I'd done that. Yeah, just to have them as gifts. Here, have a High Point. Uh, don't own a high, you know, handgun? Here, have a High Point. Great stuff. Comes with an 8 round magazine. Standard, so 8 plus 1. It's got a little finger groove here at the bottom. That's perfectly decent. Let me go ahead and show you. Unloaded, of course. Locks back on the last round open. Does not have a slide release at all. You don't need that. I hear a lot of people complain about, well, I need a slide release. No, you don't. You know how to use your firearm. You're good to go. Slap in another magazine. Good to go. Delayed blow, uh, blow black recoil. So it's heavy. It's alloy top. But this is the same type of castings and such they use in engines. Very dependable. Very reliable. No problems at all. It's a little top heavy. Again, it's a little bulky as you can see right there. Um, Overall, this is not the lightest handgun in the world, but the fact that it is so heavy makes it a joy to shoot. Of my smaller size 9mm handguns, or my pistols this size, this is the best one to shoot, other than a 22. I could shoot this all day. Like I say, not the prettiest in the world. Who cares? I don't care what it looks like, as long as it works. Pretty's nice, but it's a bonus. For $100, unbeatable. Absolutely unbeatable. Now, let me go ahead and say you hear a lot of bad mouthing about these things. Oh, they jam up, they're jam -o -matics. I remember the first concealed carry class I took way back in the day. Wouldn't allow them. The, the, the uh, instructor said, no high points, too, many trouble, too much trouble. Uh, it's all just jamming and clearing things. Well, it was probably the fault of the magazine. What people do with these things, they take them out, never have shot them, never put 200 rounds through these things to get them worked in, ready, just like you need to with any semi-auto firearm. I don't care what it is shoot your weapon. Shoot at least 200 rounds, if not more, to wear it in. It's a mechanical object. You need to loosen it up. It's got parts that need to wear, okay? It's not... No semi-auto is going to necessarily be 100% reliable straight out of the box. You may get lucky, like your Glock or something like that, your SIG. That's great, but it's a mechanical object, just like buying a new car. Gotta wear it in a little bit first. It's a little tight to start with. But what I've learned from reading around and learning myself when you get these mags, the mag spring is a little bit overly tight and strong in a few of them, occasionally. Load it up, get it home, put some bulk ammo in it, load the thing up completely and let it sit for a week or two and it's good to go. You will have no trouble after that. So enough of that. Like I said, this is the pistol mag, got the little finger extension down here, which I think is nice. This is the only pistol mag I have for this. I have not bought any more because I own the High Point Carbine. I owned the High Point Carbine before I owned this one. Loved it. Already had a bunch of the 10-round Carbine mags. Fits in there just fine. A little overextension, but who cares? I'd rather have 10 than 8. So there we go. So I've got lots and lots of these. I only got one of these. 
Whatever you want to do, that's fine. If you want more of these pistol mags, you know, more power to you. I'd rather have the 10 rounders. I already had a bunch already for compatibility. You say, well, it's only 10 rounds or 8 if you use this one. That's not enough. Well, yeah, it is. Standard number of rounds using a firefight, you know, handgun fight is 3.5. 3.5 rounds. I got 9. More than enough. That's several firefights worth. Um, usually, you know, you produce a pistol versus an opponent, and generally that ends the fight right there. Hopefully you never have to pull the trigger. This is going to be fine. These were all made, high points came out during the Clinton assault weapons ban, so you couldn't have magazines over 10 rounds anyway, so why would you want a double stack magazine that only held 10 rounds, but only filled up half the magazine? That's crazy. So they had the single stack mags. Makes perfect sense. They never moved away from that because their sales are perfectly decent, I think. Good gun. A little heavy. Probably not my favorite choice for concealed carry just because it's a little bulky, a little thick. But you could if you needed to. This would be a good uh, car carry gun or nightstand gun. Now, the models they make on this thing, there's four of them. they got the 380, which is based on the same frame. Looks like anyway to me. I don't have that one. It also has an eight-round magazine with ten rounds available. I've heard they're the exact same as the nine magazines. I don't know that for a fact. Uh, the 380 runs you about 29 ounces overall. Uh, a little bit cheaper. The 380 is about 75 bucks to 80 if you look around. I'd go for the 9. Ammo's cheaper and better. The 9mm, like we said, this one here, 8 rounds in the standard mag or 10 available. 29 ounces also, same as the 380. Now they make a full size. They make two full size pistols, one in 40 caliber and one in 45. I do not have one of those yet. Meant to pick one up at the last gun show, just didn't. I just messed around and bought something else. Something else caught my eye and just didn't get around to it. Probably should have. Uh, we got a couple gun shows coming up here in the next few weeks. I will probably pick up the 40 or the 45. Probably the 45. See how it handles. The 40, again, and the 45 seem to both be on the same size frame. Both weigh in at about 35 ounces, so big and heavy. But I'd love to see how that handles a 45. I think it'll be a sweet shooter, just like this one is. Um, the 40 caliber has a 10 round magazine, the 45 has a 9 round magazine, and from my understanding those mags are compatible, or the carbine mags of those 40 and 45s are compatible in the pistols as well, don't know that for a fact. So, uh, the 40s and the 45s run you about 150, 170 bucks from what I've seen, so that is a steal, an absolute steal, if you already got a 45, something like that, safe queen, you want some knock around. Now, enough about the other particulars, let me talk about this one in particular. Love it. Again, bought it just on a whim. Just go, why the heck not for a hundred and, I think I paid 115 for it, something like that, maybe 120. I'll get it. Play around with it. Who cares? Loved it. Absolutely love this thing. Single action trigger. Um, it does have a magazine safety disconnect, which I'm not a huge fan of, but uh, it's got a single action trigger. It's very light. Um, very little creep on it at all. I've heard that there's some variance in the triggers. I love this one. This one's great. Once I learned how to handle it and shoot it, honestly, here's comes some more sacrilege for you. I can shoot as well with this as I can my Glock. Not as many rounds, but just as well. cannot tell you the number of times I've taken this to the range. I take it all the time, and we'll have someone walk around with, you know, I've been shooting straight bullseyes at seven yards every last round, and they go, man, nice shooting with that Glock. Go, that's not a Glock. And they look over and say, you got a Glock there laying on the table? Yeah, and what's sitting right next to it? The high point. Uh, I hadn't picked up the Glock yet. Sorry, guys. All that was with a high point. The looks are amazing. That People just don't know what to say. Now, I'm a pretty good shot. I shoot a lot, so that probably has something to do with it. Perfectly reasonable firearm. The extra weight on this thing makes it a joy to shoot. Very, very friendly on the recoil. Very manageable. Re uh, trigger is fine. Um, it's got your standard pistol sights. It's red on the back and yellow on the front. Let's see if you can see that. There's your red on the rear, and hopefully you can see the yellow up front. All right, so nice little sight picture. Very standard for handguns, which I'm used to shooting. Um, what's interesting is this does come with a free set of ghost ring sights. All other handguns do. So if you're used to shooting an AR-15 or something like that or a high-point carbine, and you want some ghost rings on the back of this thing, easy to do. Now, I've been shooting handguns longer than I have anything else, and I like them the standard pistol sights. I'm used to those. I know people complain about them. You know, they're not good for, you know, shooting and blah, 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 and ghost rings are better. Ghost rings are fine. I reserve those for my ARs. I've got that option here. I always meant to change it out. Just never did. Just, I was happy with this. So, other stats on this thing. Safety, pretty standard. Up is safe, down is fire. No big deal there. Magazine release right there. Very reasonably placed. No problems. Uh, no slide stop. 
but I don't consider that a problem at all. I say reasonably heavy. Nice gun though. This will do the job, as I'm sure all of the other ones will. Yep, high point carbine I'll talk about later. I think that's also a must have in your kit for low cost. Great gun. Very accurate. Kind of hard to break down, but just due to the design of this thing, they don't recommend you do a full breakdown to clean this thing. They recommend you clean out the barrel, clean out the action, put some oil in it. You're good to go. Um, like I say, I've fired probably a thousand plus rounds, at least a thousand, through this thing. And I've done nothing more than clean the barrel and clean out the insides as best I could with a, a cloth and some oil. And Hoppy's number nine. It's been fine. No problems. The slide seems to function just fine. Again, it's barely been cleaned. I need to break the thing down fully at some point just to see how much gunk is built up, if any. Doesn't seem to be any at all. Like I say, for $100 for a handgun, you got to have something and you don't have the money for anything else, this is the way to go. Absolutely love this thing. It's cheap. Well, no, it's not cheap. It's inexpensive. But it's a good gun. It's not the prettiest. They don't have the best grips, the little plastic grips. I did have one of those little wraparound little attachments around it there. Didn't like it. I liked it better with just the plain plastic on there. Hard plastic, that's fine. I've seen people who take these off, the plastic, and put that rubberized, you know, rhino lining, truck liner, bed liner on it. That's fine. I want to keep mine pristine. If I ever find a stack of them for 50 bucks again, I'm buying every one they've got. No doubt about it. Yeah, give them always gifts. Something. Um, love this gun. For $100, this should be part of your prepping kit. This should be part of your backup. You know, if you're going to stash something away, keep one of these. You know, heck, a box of Winchester White Box. Just anything is going to be fine. Pick up a few extra mags. Again, it's going to do the job. Great guns. Like I said, I wish I had the 45 or the 40. Don't yet. We'll pick one of those up. We'll be talking more about other high point options as we go beyond the handgun realm. High point 9mm, an absolute must. Again, not the prettiest, but it gets the job done. Pitch your hand fully. If you got a stand in your hand. If you got a big hand, well, get these 10 rounders. So you got some lip down there to make up for it. So good stuff. Not the prettiest gun in the world. There you go. But it certainly, certainly works. And like I say, good stuff. Only thing I do not like about this, other than the hard plastic grips, which had which had some more retention, that's minor. The only design flaw in this thing, in my mind, is the magazine disconnect. I don't like that. But that's the way they made it. So be it. So there's our first absolute best low-cost, brand-new handgun you will ever find. And spend a little more if you want a 40 or 45, or a little less if you want 380. All right, guys, MD Prepper out.